Earlier today, I did a video about the Henry Cavill Superman news. That being that Henry Cavill is out as Superman, which is very unfortunate because he's a great Superman, but they're not moving forward with him. And in that video, I speculated that the Jar Jar Abrams separate Superman movie that was going to have ta Coates as a writer is likely canceled because that would make sense. We're wiping the board clean, right, James Gunn? But that's not the case. It turns out that the J.J. Abrams, ta Coates Superman movie is still happening. So instead of getting a Henry Cavill Superman movie, which you could still do, you could do it as a multiverse movie. I mean, you're going to do this movie. Why not that one? This you didn't know, ta Coates is a terrible person who keeps getting put on some of the most iconic American pop culture icons ever. Uh, they gave him Captain America, the comic book, at Marvel Comics. He got to write that for a while. Ran him into the ground. Awful run. He also is getting to write the Superman comic. A very American, iconic character, just like Captain America. It's funny that he gets to write these characters, considering some of the horrible anti-American stuff that this man has said in his time. Uh, one of the quotes I like to show everybody, because, I mean, what worse can you say than this, is when he went after the 9-11 first responders in his memoir book. He really did say these things. He said that he was... Happy to see them burn, basically. Because over 100 years ago, there was slavery in New York City. So because of that, uh, the current modern firefighters and policemen that rushed into that building apparently are horrible people, and he was glad to see them, see them pass away. Who says something like that? It's disgusting. And I'm not kidding. He really said it. Uh, this is just from a Fox News article, but it's from his memoir book. I don't know if they name the book yet. Yeah, it's in his book, Between the World and Me. And he talks about the emergency responders who rushed into the World Trade Center. Here's one of the quotes. It's actually a lot worse than, than what they quote here. I would encourage you to find the full quote and take a look at that. I know I've covered it on my channel before. It's, dis it's one of the most disgusting things I've ever read. Uh, but hey, a perfect man to write a Superman movie. It's bullshit that this is going forward. You know what? I don't even have a problem with them making the Val Zod movie. Just take him off as the writer. This person should not write Superman or Captain America. Someone who says that about heroes, in my opinion, who who did something nobody else would do. Let's, let's say, how many people would run into that building? But this man says, hey, uh, they're pieces of shit. It's disgusting. So, I mean, you can make the Valzad movie. I don't care because it's, it's, it's going to be a multiverse thing. They're still doing a Clark Kent movie. It's not really that big of a deal. But him writing Superman, because it's still a Superman character, is disgusting. And they're moving forward with this movie. This movie's safe. Ta-Nehisi Coates is still working on a script for his black Superman film, despite James Gunn announcing a fresh film for the Kryptonian superhero. That is disgusting. How is this man supposed to know what a hero is when he thinks that people that ran into a crumbling skyscraper are pieces of garbage. It doesn't get any more heroic than that, ladies and gentlemen. But apparently this man can write the greatest American superhero ever. It's going to be a character that hates America, number one. J.J. Abrams, 
Uh, he's spineless. He'll just make whatever he writes, probably. So this is still going forward. I hope to God Michael B. Jordan uh, pulls some rank here because he's going to be who plays that Valsad character. It's just wild to me. You fire Henry Cavill, but this movie still, still goes forward. So J.J. Abrams apparently still a heavy hitter at Warner. This movie survived. I don't know if maybe this is a David Zaslov decision or if David James Gunn is like, let's just go ahead and do it. This is woke times 100. Woke times 100. But it's it's still in effect. So Henry Cavill's out. ta Coates is in. What the hell kind of timeline do we live in? There's also reports, by the way, that the Patty Jenkins Wonder Woman might not be canceled either. She came out with a big statement the other day, crying, saying uh, everything coming out was clickbait, which I don't believe. Uh, I honestly believe the the rap version where she's hard to work with, I, I believe that story. Now, she came out with her own version of the story, which some people described as hedging her bets, which I believe. I, I do believe that as well. Apparently, this is still is still in the works. So Gal Gadot gets to stay Wonder Woman, which I don't have a problem with, except everybody else is being replaced. Why does Ezra Miller get to stay? Why does she get to stay? Why does A.H. get to stay? You know, but Henry, Henry Cavill's gone. Maybe James Gunn just doesn't like him. Maybe that is what it is. It, it could be, and I'm starting to think maybe that is what it is. Because a guy who hates America still gets to write Superman. And Patty Jenkins still gets to make her Wonder Woman 3. Now, this is speculation, by the way. It's just a report that James Gunn and Peter Safran are in touch with Patty Jenkins following Wonder Woman 3's cancellation. So maybe they want her to do another movie. I'm not sure, but what I do know is... I went from pretty optimistic about the future of the DCU to now being very, very kind of in the middle. I'm I'm not, I'm not optimistic anymore. Now I'm kind of like, I don't quite know about this. Now it sounds like this is going to be like a phase four, a Marvel phase four. We'll see, I guess. Uh, I'm really... Really curious to what's going on with that J.J. Abrams Coates Superman now, and if they're still if they're still moving forward. If that if that's gonna, I mean, they're saying it is, so we'll see. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.